Information overload. So many doohickeys and thingamabobs and whatchamacallits. Take a deep breath. We're going to get through this together. Let's start by figuring out what you'll need. And then through this series of videos, we'll help you put together a system King Solomon himself would be proud of. So get a pen and paper handy. We're about to design your drip system. Alfred Castillo here, the Sprinkler Warehouse Pro. Let's get started. First, make a list of what plants, trees, and shrubs, etc., that you'd like to water with your drip system. Then draw a rough diagram of the area you'd like to water. Artistic skills not required. Now let's see how many emitters you need. Emitters are the little doodads that drip water onto the ground near your plant. Let's begin with perennials. You'll want at least two emitters near the base of each little green darling. 0.5 gallon, i.e. half gallon per hour flow rate. Perennials usually require about two gallons of water a week, but that can vary depending on the size and species of your plant and the quality of your soil. Don't let the decisions you're making here overwhelm you. You can quite easily adjust the flow rate, add extra emitters or remove emitters even long after you've installed the system. Nothing here is set in stone. You'll make the adjustments depending on how your plants respond. On to shrubs and trees. Here we'll place two emitters, the one gallon per hour type, 12 inches from the base of each tree and shrub five feet or shorter. A shrub taller than five feet should have three one gallon emitters. A tree between five and 10 feet in height will need two to three two gallon emitters. Trees between 10 and 15 feet will need two four gallon emitters. Between 15 and 25, use four four gallon emitters. Trees taller than 25 feet are not the best candidates for drip irrigation. Let's talk flower beds. For all the green stuff growing close together, you'll utilize emitter tubing or soaker hoses. These water an area of four to six inches on both sides of the hose. These are also fantastic if you're doing a vegetable garden in rows. For those areas, draw on your diagram the hose you think you'll need. Then head outside and measure the length of hose your bed or garden will require. Now, we haven't discussed emitter types or hose types yet. We'll get to all of that in another video. If you're using drip line, emitter tubing, or soaker hose, we'll have a separate video on how to determine your gallons per hour flow rate. It's important that we determine the gallons per hour flow rate needed for our system. If we overtax our system, it won't work effectively and your plants will feel neglected and nobody likes a sad hydrangea. Count how many of each emitter you have grouped by flow rate. So in this diagram, I have 25 half gallon per hour emitters, 51 gallon per hour emitters, and 24 gallon per hour emitters. Time to start figuring. That's 25 times 0.5 equals 12 and a half gallons per hour, 50 times one gallon per hour equals 50 gallons per hour, and 20 times four equals 80 gallons per hour. Add these together and I get 142 gallons per hour. I wonder if my home flow rate is enough. Most homes have a flow rate of 200 gallons per hour, so I'm probably fine. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything for your irrigation needs so that your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens are lush and beautiful. And if you have any questions about our products, give us a call or chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the most out of our user-friendly Shop and Compare web store. For Sprinkler Warehouse, I'm Alfred Castillo, your Sprinkler Warehouse Pro.